For my project, I had the little black dress. So imagine you were in the early 1900s looking through your closet to get your own black dress. Instantly, you feel guilty for loving it so much because the dress is reserved for your worst days. The day your grandmother passed, the days following a terrible loss in the nation's military, or even the day you buried the love of your life. Today is an average day. You wouldn't dare put it on. But that doesn't mean you can't admire it. The history of the color black. The color black signified mourning and was rarely worn before the 1920s. For women in the 19th century, Coco Chanel revolutionized fashion with her creation of the little black dress. Chanel's dress, as seen here, was on the cover of Vogue in October of 1926. Chanel's dress was comfy, adaptable, and timeless, which was a style that women had not been able to get before. Before this dress, women had to wear clothing that was very voluminous um, and had a lot of layers to it. So Chanel's new sleek design really became popular because of the women's liberation at the time. Originally, to make the dress, she used resources from the following. Jersey, chiffon, lace, tulle, wool, crepe, satin, velvet for night, polychrome sequin embellishments, or a variety of weightless silks. Vogue coined the name Little Black Dress because the dress was above the ankles, which was previously the shortest length at the time. They also called it Chanel's Ford, referring to the at the time insanely popular Model T. It also resembled the Model T in a sense, as Henry Ford said of his cars, it's available in any color as long as the color is black. The next designer to make headlines with the little black dress is Christian Dior. In the 50s, Christian Dior shortened the length of the dress from the ankles to the knees. He used his alphabetic silhouette A, H, and Y to feminize the dress even more. He had a signature style of rounded shoulders, nipped waist, and full skirts, and that was all shown in his construction of his little black dress. His dress was also the first one to be labeled a cocktail dress, which popularized the style even more of the little black dress. Fast forward to the 60s, and Audrey Hepburn is synonymous with the little black dress. Hubert de Givenchy was the designer behind Audrey's look like the classic and breakfast at Tiffany's. Hubert de Givenchy based his designs on this timeless piece of questionable elegance and fabricated a sheath dress with minimalist cuts on the back. Givenchy's muse Hepburn made the dress very popular for the younger generation, which had previously never happened. Now the little black dress can be found on every brand's website and is typically a bodycon dress like the dresses above. They usually have small straps and consist of one layer of fabric with side seams. Most of them don't have zippers or any appliques. When researching, I noticed that most of the black dresses that I googled came up from fast fashion websites. So as a CEO, I created a method of reverse fast fashion, which would be implemented into the design, construction, and manufacturing process. Materials that would be used would include only high quality fibers such as cotton, silk, and wool. Any fiber content used that is not eco-friendly must be resourced from recycled material. Ideally, all fabric will be sourced from an ethical, sustainable source. My corporation would also acquire fabric from old garments before they are thrown away and reworking them into new ones that are in style so any old little black dress can become a new one with embellishments, trims, and other add-ons. The design process would consist of less designs. The new designs would be timeless so that they are always in style. The designs of the dress would vary given that we all have different body types and it can be hard to find one that flatters them all. Using classic silhouettes from Dior and Chanel, dresses would be designed with more volume, a waistline, and have bra inserts. The constructions of the garments my corporation would make would have French seams or flat felt seams. They would have appliques such as patches, embroideries, jewels, chains, pearls, gemstones, rhinestones, all that stuff, trims, finishes, crisp pleats and darts, and they would have some lining to them.